Jaya Jaya! Hey, gorgeous beings! I hope you're feeling fantastic today. Topic for this video is what is uh, tantric training and the vital tantra system that I teach, right? Um, because lots of you have been asking about this question as uh, I have another training, another immersion coming up, uh, not this weekend, the following one, and uh, I just want to give you some hints about how this works and why it's really important to embody that in your life. Okay, I'm really excited about this stuff because I've been teaching that for the last 20 years, 30 years more. It's just like it has been in my field my whole life. And um, the what is emerging now with a, a tantric training are just a new upgrades, all this stuff that is emerging. So there are three elements, three core elements that I want to cover in this video quickly. The first one is that the vital tantra system and the tantric training is an integrated system. If you go to Tibet, you will notice that you have all these monks in monasteries and all that, and they abstract themselves out of you know, the worldly life to enter into the states of transcendental beauty and energy. And this, I have tons of respect about that. I've probably been doing a lot of that in past lives, but in this lifetime, it's all about integration, you know, diving deep into the core of what it means to be alive, what it means to be a human being, and integrated, integrating all that within reality. So what this means is that when we've got emotions, when we've got feelings, when we've got challenges, all that, when we've got shadows and darkness and, and different things coming into our field, we fully go for it. If there is fire burning right there, then we jump into the fire. We go and check out what all this is about, rather than avoiding and bypassing all of that. So. There are lots of different systems of uh, spiritual training, and what we practice here is full, energetic, multidimensional integration and embodiment. We really want to be in our bodies, feel everything, have emotions, and be like raging fires of truth pouring into uh, our lives. And of course, you know, we play with transcendence, transcendence we, we play with meditating and being in states of bliss, but then bringing all that back into life. So that's number one, it's an integrated system. Uh, number two is that you want to have the support, you want to have the context, you want to have teachings, teachers, facilitators, you want to have a tribe, you know, and you want to have a space which is really protected for you to be able to dive deep into all that. Okay, this is really important. If you don't get the support and you are doing all that by yourself in a little flat somewhere uh, lost in New York, uh, it's going to be very much more challenging because you don't have the momentum that uh, this energetic resonance is creating, creating when you are with a tribe or when you are with teachers or when you are in sacred spaces to embody all that. So as the second element is the support. The third element is truth. Okay, truth is really, really important. And by truth, I mean connection to source. You have lots of teachings out there, lots of things that you can do in life that have nothing to do with connecting back to source. They are within the reality of the three, four dimensional uh, reality, physical reality. You know, this is the world we live in. It's four dimensions. And then you have the energetics and what's happening in the realms of the invisible. And this is fifth dimension. But when you go back to source, you enter to sixth dimension because in that reality, you have have intelligences and forces that start sponsoring you and your life and what we are doing on this um, human beautiful human planet so this is tapping into what we call the buddhic realms and you can have for instance a beautiful healing practice with somebody right and you're going to have beautiful sensations access healing and so on but that's not necessarily going to connect you with source there are you know, dozens and dozens of systems and teachings on this planet, and some of them are loops within the physical reality. It doesn't really expand you to another dimension. Whereas what I'm talking about here, hopefully if you get the experience, you will realize that there is a lot of mystical and lots of source tapping reality behind that. My inspiration comes from what you can call Himalayan wisdom, right? These are saints and sages and, and beautiful uh, valleys over there, sacred places that inspire this stream of inspiration and come all the way into embodiment. I'm in Bali right now. Guess what? Bali <laughs> is, a, is something, uh, the, the tradition, the Hindu tradition over here is something that emerged back from these streams of wisdom as well. I mean, together with other areas of Hinduism. But the point of this is that there is connection to source. There is uh, some energy which is really, really strongly sponsoring this intention to bring all that juice back 
to you, okay? I hope this makes sense. I'm not going to describe right here the practices and how this works because this is entering more into the details, but so that you understand the context. This is embodied, okay? We want to feel everything. We want to be really grounded on this planet and discover the pathways for mastering our mind, our body, to mastering uh, our relationship to money, all of that, you know, to enter into spaces where you really have the tools for life mastery. I will tell you more about life mastery by itself, what it means, uh, in another video. For now, if you are interested by this event, send me a message, or visit vitalcoaching.com slash events. This is where all that is being posted right now. And I've got five immersions lined up to come up over the next two months. So if you are in Bali, if you are in this area, in this field, just reach out and we'll make it happen. Love you.